A leafy ambience welcomes us to committee maximum prison. A facility that holds a population of at least 3,000 inmates. It is early morning and the inmates are already hard at work. Whatever unpleasant stories we have heard about the facility quickly fade away as we take a look at some of the work being done by the inmates. One can hardly believe that these were once hardcore criminals who gave the police sleepless nights. Everything is done with precision and concentration. There is a whole world of enterprise behind the forbidding walls. Enterprises that have rehabilitated scores of prisoners who have passed through the facility. Said Kyondo is one such man. He has spent 24 years of his life behind bars. I was a farmer. 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 It was therefore natural that he was drawn to the metal workshop, a place he has worked at ever since he was jailed. Through the skills he learned at the facility, he is now able to renovate kitchen rafters and build firewood conserving jikos. When you know who my Ile Miakan Mika Jela, now Kulingana Villa and Namaujuzi Sasa, Hatan Teresa Kufunzo at Wagene Raya Huko, Namna Kuishi, Njia, Nawatu Vizuri, Nakwele Misha, you who use one who support a bure. His engagement at the workshop has helped turn hours of idleness into valuable output. Kiondo has earned the trust of the prison managers, a fact well illustrated by the fact that only the most disciplined inmates are allowed to work at the metal workshop. The prison authorities say by providing useful alternatives to occupy the prisoners, it helps vent some of their frustrations arising out of the fact that they are not enjoying the freedom. We have seen these activities bring a prisoner to realize that uh, he's one with the members of the public and they make sure that uh, after they leave the prison they leave better people than they came in it also restores their dignity the entrepreneurial activities carried out within the prison produce goods in bulk goods that are later sold to the general public at the prison's showroom at the national social security fund nssf building but on our way out, we see mobile phone jammers, perhaps a reminder that despite attempts to rehabilitate criminals, not all inmates are keen to change their errant ways. Mine has been an interesting and fulfilling journey in which I have discovered freedom behind prison walls, where prisoners are turned into true gentlemen and society has to play its part in accepting them. Maureen Moremi, reporting for Citizen TV.